Delaware start going, but loses the 50-50 ball. Actually got to it, but it just rolled to a Butler player. Long shot. Almost caught Nicole Klein off guard. Forced to push that one up over the crossbow, in my opinion. Last thing you want to do is fall behind early, and that's exactly what happened there. What a shot. Herself properly due to the dampness on the turf. That's another thing that can affect her ability to get a good connection on the ball whenever she goes to make a play, whether it's a pass, a shot. Fielders shuffle a great deal, and that's something you could easily do, and that's another one of the benefits. Here's a big scoring chance for Butler. Big save made by Nicole Klein. If intentionally, it could still be a little risky because you don't know where your own goalkeeper may or may not be, and it could actually go over her head for an own goal. Whoa, huge shot. What a rocket. Stephanie Kaler again. That was well played. Header towards the goal and in. Midfielders will all tend to hug the middle and really clog up that central midfield, which we can see all three of them inside the hash mark, inside the football hash marks, excuse me. That's how you do that, and you'll see the outside full move somewhere. And there it is. Great play, and Jade Flory makes it 2-1. to one. She might be their equivalent to Geneva Strelko with it apparently having just as strong of a left as a right, or I'm not sure if she's left-footed or right-footed naturally. Big play there by Nicole Klein. Ten, nine, Shot by Amanda eight, Johnson. Seven, six, as we five, hear the final count. Four, three, two, one. And Griswold plays that forward, and that's your contest. Clock hits zero. Final score, Butler Bulldogs 2, Youngstown State Penguins 1.